What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Tiny Mac, and today we are going to be reviewing the Sims 4 Horse Ranch expansion pack and talking about some mods that I would really love modders to create to enhance our horse gameplay. Modders are pretty much carrying EA right now with the Sims and they put in more work than the billion dollar company that creates the game, so I wanted to share some mods that I'm really hoping for to see in the Sims 4. Huge thank you to all the modders and CC creators that create such awesome content for us. You really make this game so enjoyable for us and help us from getting bored from the rinse and repeat gameplay EA creates creates for us. So thank you, thank you. And if you are enjoying these videos, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Your support means so much to me. I am a smaller creator, so your support really helps me out no matter how big or small the gesture. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into my list. First up on my list is trail rides. Riding around the world alone can get quite boring after a while, so being able to go on trail rides with your friends or family would be so much fun. I actually have a mod that allows my sims to go on jogs together, and I am obsessed. It adds a level of gameplay with your sims and their friends outside of just going to public lots to do activities. So I would love to see something like this replicated for my Sims and their horses. It would add some more realism to your game, whether it's rides with your Sims and their friends or a ride with your significant other to go on a date, or you could even do a fun trail ride with your Sim and their kid to teach them how to ride a horse. I was really expecting some more gameplay options from EA outside of just riding your horse around the world alone. And I was expecting them to do a little bit more with the kids, kind of like how Sims can teach their kids how to swim. I was expecting them to be able to teach their kids how to ride a horse as well. So it's safe to say I was a little disappointed by this and I would love to be able to take my sims camping and have them do a sunrise ride together so I'm just really hoping to see some sort of mod like this come alive in the future. Next is hitching your horse. So I know this is a really simple mod to want, but I hate how my horses run away every two seconds that I'm not interacting with them. It would be nice to have a hitching post like we did in The Sims 3, where we could just tie our horses up when we need them to stay near us while we do something else. Again, it just adds a little realism to your game and I am a big realistic gameplay person. So this is definitely a mod that I would love to have in my game. I genuinely don't understand why EA didn't do this for us. They did it in The Sims 3, so I don't get why they wouldn't just carry it over to The Sims 4 and they made hitching posts in the game which is so infuriating. Why did you create them if we weren't able to use them? It makes no sense. So modders if you could come save the day once again and do what EA should have done and put this in the game that would be awesome and we would all appreciate it greatly. More horse traits. We need more horse traits in the Sims 4 horse ranch. Come on and I know that this mod is already coming. I already know that modders are working on this one because it is so dry. Yes the options are nice and I do like the traits but they are so limited and there's such a limited selection. It's just so bland. Here's a list of all of the traits that came in The Sims 4, or The Sims 3, I'm sorry. And as you can see, there is a lot to choose from and they all differ greatly from each other. It has a good variety. And The Sims 4 is honestly just so dry without CC and mods and it sucks. I try to play it regular vanilla version and I always end up getting so bored and quitting. The Sims 3 did a really great job at creating traits to actually create a personality for your horse. Like you could have a really quiet horse that hates jumping and is super piggy and just wants to eat all the time versus the sims 4 is just athletic traits mostly i feel like and it's not really anything to really diversify your horse personality wise they remind me exactly of the dog and cat traits they're just very bland and straightforward very repetitive nothing to really create a big difference and it's very annoying when you have a household with a lot of horses because you just start using the same traits and all of your horses kind of end up being the exact same ea could have just put a little bit more effort in but of course they didn't number four on my list is different horse sizes now there are a lot of mods that create different heights for sims so once again i would love to see this replicated for the horses in the sims for. I think a big thing about horses is the many different shapes and sizes they come in and I would love for my small short sim to have a really big huge horse or my kid sim to have a pony or a donkey you know like a Clydesdale being the same size as a Tennessee Walker is so unrealistic and frankly annoying to me. I know it's just a game but did EA not really think to create different heights for sims to diversify them more? It's such a simple thing I don't understand why they didn't do it. Like I just want my jockey sim to be way shorter than the horse owners and I want my big horses to generally genuinely feel like big horses, not just the same size as every other horse that I have. Like these, I want them to be huge. And then I want this horse to be, you know, normal height. But then I want a horse that's in between the size of a Great Dane and the size of the bigger horses. Like this would be a perfect pony. And if it was like a little bit bigger than this dog, 
It would be so cute to have my little kid Sim riding around on this tiny little white pony that he got for Christmas. Okay, I know this is a little drastic, but I'm just trying to get my point across at how much fun it would be to have different horse sizes. So modders, if you could once again do your thing and create this for us, I would love you so much. Thank you. Okay, so I just downloaded a mod that allows you to ride your horse bareback and I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so much fun. Again, this is a feature they had in The Sims 3 that they didn't carry over into The Sims 4 and I do not understand why. But another mod that I would love to see is being able to ride bareback with two people like having a sim that isn't that good at riding a horse ride with someone else okay this one's extremely off topic and not at all related to horses but this has been a mod i've been asking for for forever so while we are on the topic of mods i would love to see i would love to see a mod where you could relax in bed and read i hate how they just sit at the edge of their bed and i want my parents sims to be able to read right next to each other after a long day again the sitting position is just so weird and i love to have bookworm sims and when they just sit here awkwardly reading for hours on and it's so annoying to me. I just want them to lay in bed. Okay, this one is a little bit more niche and I just wanted to include it because it annoys me so much, but I love red horses and like chestnut horses and I hate the red colors that they included in the game. I don't want Clifford the big red dog running around with my horses. I don't know why this annoys me so much, but I just want a beautiful red secretariat looking horse, not something like this that sticks out like a sore thumb. So if there even is something you could do, modders or CC people, please do it because I hate these. The horse breeding system in The Sims 4 genuinely sends me into a full-on rage. I need some sort of mod or something to fix this because it is horrific. I breeded these two horses together and as you can see these are two beautiful horses and look at these sad results. These are so so sad. There's no no creativity at all with any of these. In The Sims 3 again at least they did a good job with their breeding system and this is just trash. I think I shuffled through these like 15 times and as you can see the results do not get any better. They are horrific. I would have loved to see something where this is a more realistic match and a more realistic breeding system where you can actually breed these two horses together and get a beautiful outcome. I'm so disappointed in the horse breeding system EA provided in The Sims 4. It is so bland and you would think for a billion dollar company they could put a little bit more effort into their game to create something past whatever this crap is. EA lately has just been creating a lot of stuff packs and a lot of like items to throw in our faces but when it comes to genuine and gameplay. They lack so much in The Sims 4. I don't know how they missed that mark so bad, but they just keep throwing items in our faces like, look at these new countertops, look at these couches, but then this stuff. It's so sad. And I genuinely don't know if it's possible to create a mod to fix this breeding system, but if it is, that would be so awesome. And I know so many simmers out there would appreciate it. This was a horse that I breeded with this other horse, and I was, you know, wanting some sort of pretty combination of the two. And of course, I just got the dad which was the brown spotted one, not this beautiful Appaloosa. And it was just very disappointing. So you modders are really creative. So I would love to see something happen to fix this. Again, thank you to all of the amazing modders and CC creators out there. You help people like me who have been playing The Sims since we were very young, stay in love with this game. The Sims 3 is nostalgic for a lot of us and The Sims 4 just did not hit the mark at all when it comes to comparing these two games. So thank you, we appreciate you. Comment some mods that you would wanna see in The Sims 4 Horse Ranch. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, if you could please like and subscribe to my channel. I am a smaller channel, so I appreciate all the support you guys show me no matter how big or small. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day slash night and I'll see you next time. Peace!